I know it's been a while, I haven't put out any vaping videos or any other sorts of videos in quite a while, and it's because recently I purchased a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, and I gotta tell you, these things are awesome. If you're a designer, or you're an artist, or a fabricator, one of these machines is gonna come in handy. You basically take something, design it in a computer, in 3D modeling software, and you can print it into a physical object. Uh, one, I've been making a whole bunch of interesting things, and it's going to be an awesome tool for my business that I'm starting up. Uh, and I'm going to branch out from just doing vaping-related items, even though I did print one vaping-related item. This is an e-cigarette tip. It's a flat tip because I love flat tips on my e-cigs, but you don't find too many of them out there for sale. So I printed this one out of PLA plastic. And it's like a typical tip. It uses a standard design of a drip tip with an O-ring and everything, except it's flat, like a pipe nib or an old school cigarette holder. And it works really, really well. But that's not what I actually came online to tell you about. There was a design that I found on Thingiverse in case you don't know what Thingiverse is, it's this awesome website that's hosted by MakerBot. It allows owners of 3D printers and designers to actually post the things that they've designed to print for everybody else to download and print themselves. And one particular user on Thingiverse by the name of Jay Pierce designed a safety razor. And it was an intriguing concept, so I downloaded the files right away and tried printing it. And I had really mixed results with it. I mean, I tried printing different tops and different bases. I printed his handle, which is adequate, but not quite to my liking. And I've been having problems with all these designs and all these parts that didn't quite give me a good shave because the dimensions seemed like they were a bit off, like the base here seemed like it was a bit too skinny and the gaps didn't seem wide enough or the angle of the blade wasn't quite right when it was put all together. Well, I can sweep all that stuff away. I basically started from scratch, borrowing very little from his original design, and I came up with this. This is Big E's Coffin Top Safety Razor. And I redesigned it, made a different handle for it. I widened it. I added some little ridges on the front here to kind of act like a guard. And the most important thing is I beveled the top. As you can see, it's kind of got a wedge shape to it. And the whole reason I did that was to get a closer shape and to get the angle of the blade just right. And that's a standard double-edged safety razor blade that's in this razor. And proof is in the pudding. I mean, it shaves beautifully, as you can tell. And I even took the time to shave on video to show you that it ain't no BS. It actually works. I refined the design to provide the nicest shave you can possibly get from a 3D printer. And I've just been flabbergasted by the results. I mean, I use your typical Gillette multi-blade head razors, and they work, but it's really expensive. With a safety razor, not so much. A pack of five blades can be had at the dollar store for 99 cents. So you want to talk about a dollar shave club, uh, that's pretty much the next best thing. Except for, you know, I don't want to actually sign up for dollar shave club. I want to do it myself because I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. So I also printed this safety cover for the razor, which is also available on Thingiverse. Uh, I modified it and made it a little bit wider to fit my wider head not the one that's on my shoulders, I mean the one that's on the razor. And I also went through the bother of printing this awesome little razor stand that I can take my razor and put it on there and it's got a spot to hold a shaving brush 
which you're going to need if you shave with a safety razor. You're also going to need one of these. It's a shaving mug. Got a bar of shaving soap. You can get the brush, the mug, and a bar of soap for $10 at Walmart. They also have extra bars of shaving soap. I mean, you can use Barbasol if you want to be simple about it, but come on. Old school razor deserves an old school shaving setup. You got to do it the old school way if you want to do it right. There's lots of websites that tell you how to use a safety razor, but it keeps everything on there real nice and it looks great in my bathroom and it gives me a nice close shave. So all kinds of interesting things are coming out of this 3D printing technology. Uh, you can only expect more. Uh, as for my coffin top razor design, all the files are going to be up on Thingiverse, free for download. So if you have access to a 3D printer or have a friend who has a 3D printer, or if you even want to send it into Shapeways and have them print it out, you can do that. And if a part wears out or breaks, you just print another part. I fully intend to sell these at swap meets or on a website or something for those that don't have the benefit of actually having a 3D printer on hand to do it themselves can print a razor. So I just thought I'd put it out there, share with you and just kick back, enjoy, watch me uh, shave my face and prove to the world that this thing works. I'm putting my skin on the line so everybody out there can have a nice shave. Shaving mug. Shaving brush. Warm this brush up. I already washed my face. We swirl this around in the shaving mug. What you end up with is a little bit of lather. Well, you got a cool haircut from the back of the long BT. He got a cool haircut from the back of the long BT. In case you don't know what DT is, well, that's a cool duck's tail. Side burn, where's those spot take pants? He got no side burn, where's those spot take pants? Oh, woman, you ain't lived till you see a cat do the bop dance. are the way to go. They're cheap. Until next time, hang in there, take it easy. Thanks for watching.